they are definitely two different vintage. Uh, I don't know about the American or the English, uh, whatever. I think they're just two different expression of a, of a great maturity. Um, the, the 2010 uh, are, as I said before, they, they have more tension, they have more acidity, they will shut down probably for a little bit, they will age very, very, very slowly, and they will show all the complexity that uh, one from great terroir and great vintage can give. The 2009, they will age wonderfully, uh, but I'm sure they will be very open all the time. Uh, they, they are more, more, uh, they are more sensual, they, they are more voluptuous. Uh, it's like two beautiful women, you know, two different, uh, two different um, shape. <laughs> Indeed. And the acidity is important, though, to balance uh, the wine out. Well, we talk about alcohol and, and balance. I think uh, what is absolutely um, uh, important in this vintage, in 2010, is one, high alcohol, two, beautiful acidity. But the most important thing is that there is an incredible structure with uh, extremely precise tannins. So they are able to balance the alcohol combined with the acidity um, without any rusticity. And so I don't have in mind another vintage like this where there is this power given by the alcohol uh, and the tannin and, and, and where you find such a, a, a purity. It, it, it's really unique. I mean, every one. 61, I don't know, I was not born, so... Uh, 28. <laughs> 28, Mark. <laughs> okay. It's, I mean, it's, it's impossible at the moment to say, well, this is life, blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's just, uh, it's 2010.